guys and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 48. This week we're going to be talking about photographing food. Food can be often difficult to shoot, especially if you're in low light conditions or you need to have external lights hooked up. And today I'm going to take you through a bunch of different images and I'm going to explain to you how we took it. This book, Southern Tea Time Pleasures, which I photographed in Little Rock, Arkansas, it's a book of um, recipes and um, all sorts of different types of food. It's available online from Amazon so you can take a look at it. But the entire shoot was taken outdoors in the shade with diffused lighting. So you want to make sure when you're photographing food that the lighting is really soft. We have had to photograph um, weddings that the main course was served after nine o'clock and it's dark. So I'll always shoot food with a soft box. I'll bring my light and shoot with a soft box. With a flash, it's not gonna work guys. You need to bring your lighting. And the soft box allows you to have a nice soft look. So I'm going to take you into um, the computer and we're going to look at several images and how they were taken and what I recommend for you. So the following images that we're going to look at are straight out of the camera. They have not been edited in any way. This particular image was taken with a 70 to 200 2.8, just a beautiful sharp lens. It was taken with natural light in a restaurant. So we set the table up closest to the window and we took these images. So as you can tell, I was shooting at about f4 by, you can see by the pepper in the front that it's just slightly out of focus. And um, you want to play with your aperture settings as much as possible during a shoot and just take a variety of shots for your client. So this particular image was taken with a 51.2 and uh, we had it at about 1.2 when we took it. So you want to you wanna play with your images and different angles. This is the same uh, lemon square just taken in a different plate. So when you're doing a commercial food shot, you'll usually have a food stylist there to help you accessorize um, the product and put it in different dishes and, um, and different setups. So that always helps. They have different techniques for make making the food shiny. Sometimes they'll spray oil or water. There's all different techniques that, that you can use to enhance the product. So um, you want your images to be sharp. So if you're dealing with the low light, you want to have a tripod handy. This image again was taken just beside a window at a wedding venue. And uh, so we just allowed the nice soft light to pour in there and we shot it at a low aperture. This one was taken with a soft box and we had to take the product over to the soft box. The light wasn't set up near us during dinner. So we had to take our plates over and we set them actually down on the floor. And I'll show you a little bit later on. This one, you can see it's on a window ledge, the windows to the right there, just to give us that nice soft light. And uh, bread is always fun. You can uh, play with the texture and the different um, the different layers is a lot of fun. So as you can see here, this product is the one um, that we had to shoot on the floor. So you can see the carpet to the left and right of the plate. So we set it down on the floor, had the softbox shoot directly down on the plate. And your bride and groom are not going to see that. They're not even going to know where the texture came from. And uh, because you can zoom in on the product like this one, um, or you can blur out the uh, the carpet or whatever you had to shoot with. This you can see the heating vent to the left and right of the plate. It adds a little bit of texture and character character to the image, sorry, and uh, just gives it a little bit more of an oomph. But anyways, when you give the client the product, um, we'll usually zoom in on it like this one. So they just have the product and the plate. So I just encourage you guys to have fun with your shots. I hope you learned something new today. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. And we will see you next week. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, all you YouTube subscribers, please join us there. You'll get updates if Tuesday's tip is going to be a little late some weeks. And um, you can send in your requests to vineimages at hotmail.com. Next week, we're going to be discussing how to enhance your photos and make them more colorful and vivid. So stay tuned for next week and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.